Good morning guys, welcome back to the channel and we are backpacking 3,000 kilometers from southern Spain to Berlin with our two little doggies Ooh. Gosh, don't start the vlog walking up the steps Sarah Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm Sarah, this is Nick, and with our two little dogs, we're usually traveling around Europe in our 32 year old camper van. Over the last few years, we've visited over 25 countries, but recently we've had a lot of issues with the van. So we've come to a big decision that it's time to get a new one. After several weeks of struggling to find anything suitable in the local area, we got an incredible offer. This means we're now backpacking with our dogs 3,000 kilometers to Berlin to collect our new home on wheels. Let the new chapter begin. In last week's vlogs, we travelled the length of Spain in a Fiat 500. Although we're on a tight time scale, we still managed to see the beautiful city of Salamanca and stayed in some interesting accommodations along the way. Join us in today's vlog after we've dropped off the hire car and head off on foot to start our journey across France. One country down, two to go. So guys, this is where the real adventure begins. Talk we've... about cutting it fine. <laughs> we had like three minutes to go. We, had to, we couldn't film because we were just panicking so much. We had to wash the car, vacuum the car. Then we had to refill to the top with fuel. I ran into the airport, ran over to the Hertz desk. It was closed, but I took a picture of myself putting the keys in the return key box at three minutes to six, which means we made it. And we had to take pictures of the car, of the car because it was full. There was no parking spaces left and there's like several cars just parked along the side of the road. Yeah, a bit of a nightmare actually. It's a bit hectic, tipping down with rain. Luckily the rain stopped. So backpacks on our backs and fronts and we're headed into, to, into a run to find our accommodation. Which is about half an hour walk, but there's no taxis. Um, and I don't, even the I don't know if the taxis would take us with the dogs anyway, but I mean, what are you going to do? It was peeing it down when we arrived as well. We're just hoping we can get to our accommodation <laughs> 2.3 kilometres. Remind you of the good old days this, darling, before it starts raining again. It's only a couple of kilometres in it, darling. Half an hour. <laughs> we did a couple of hundred metres and I'm aching. <laughs> It's because we got stuck trying to cross this road oh, for about just, half an hour. It's just taken us 15 minutes to cross the road to get to this side where there's a walkway. Is that what side? Oh dear. We need a van. It's all part of the adventure. Well, I said this before. We need a van. <laughs> Good boy, Charlie. You never news. You never news. This doesn't look like Spain anymore, does it? It's crazy. The difference. How lush and green it is up here. Look. Oh, country in the tropical, north. like Costa Rica. I know. I feel like the dogs should be pulling their weight. They're not carrying anything. No. We've got, got three got bags each. And they've got nothing. They've got the cheek to keep pulling me so they can have a little sniff and cock the legs. Like that. We're just not appreciating it. Not appreciating whatsoever. I feel like we're slaves to these dogs. Yeah, that's why. <laughs> Quite nice, one. Quite like it. The sun's come out now. Pleasant walk along the quiet streets. This is a holiday. Got a lot of character. Yesterday, I did 17,000 steps walking around the city. That's a lot, isn't it? Normally, she does about 1,700. No. <laughs> and I've just done my steps today because it just dinged me. 10,000. Right, you can put my watch on now then. <laughs> Here it is, our luxury accommodation. We made it! It wasn't too bad, was it? Shoulders are killing, but... Oh, let's go then. I will say that this was um, one of the cheapest accommodations we can find because we've only, we're only here for a few hours while we're just here overnight. It's quite late now and we're leaving first thing in the morning. But it was 90 euros. The cheapest in and one of the most expensive of the trip. I'd yeah, say. so oh. it's almost double what we have been paying for the nice places with pools. So it just goes to show what the accommodation like is here in the border town. Let's go. It might be lovely though. Could be lovely. Come on, get in there. Shut up. I want to take these bags off. That's the first place we've stayed in that's got a lift. So that's promising. Enjoying it. Oh, gosh. 
Don't you think it's funny like she doesn't ask for any details or anything? Oh, yeah. Like everywhere else you have to get your NIE number, your passport and sign oh, in. Oh look at this. Look sign at this. in. Here it's just there's your key, second floor, there's the lift type of thing. Oh god, I need to take the weight off. <sighs> what is it? One to dos, dos a dos. It smells nice. Like. Third bathroom is it? No, I hope not. Gotta share it with me, that's bad enough. Bad enough, is it? Smaller than I expected. Oh, this reminds me of Asia, look at that. Oh, oh look at that, that's quite nice, isn't it? I like the back board. Like that. Oh. Biggest TV we've had, though. I know. <laughs> that's alright, isn't it? <sighs> Fine. It's most expensive, smallest room and least luxurious, but, um, but I'm happy, yeah. Very central, the train tracks are just there, we're just saying we're hoping we can get a train to uh, to France for our onward travel, which we haven't told you about yet. Otherwise, it's another half an hour walk. <laughs> Right. Oh, here we go again. Here we go again. I'm exhausted. No, actually, we slept quite well in this room. Um, yeah, comfortable night. No, uh, nothing happened. No situations. We just slept and we've just woken up. And today is the very exciting day for travel. It's train day. Dogs have never been on a train. I get to carry the third bag today, do I? So guys, that's it. <laughs> We're ready to go to France. We've got our train ticket. It's about a four minute journey. So easy. The train station was literally 50 meters away from our apartment, which is the best thing about that apartment. Apartment? Can you call it apartment? Um, Small room. Hostel. <laughs> Cubby hole. Cubby hole. <laughs> Cubby hole. Um, yeah, so we're jumping on the train now from here in a run to Hende in France. It's a four minute journey to get across the border. And then we're catching another train. And we'll show you where we're going if we make that train. Three trains to catch over the next few days. So yeah, let's. Let's hope we get the first one. It's going to be very interesting because the dogs have never been on a train before. So we'll see how that goes. And if you know our dogs, they're a little bit... Um, Fridgy, we call them. Scared <laughs> of a lot of things. And they'd like to bark at things. First one's only four minutes though. So if they can't do that, we're in big trouble. <laughs> Nice tiny little train station, isn't it? I know, it's cute. Can we go on another one? Can we go on another one? Have you enjoyed it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's good, isn't it? Oh, this is it, darling. Yep. Well, then, jump, jump. One down, two to go. We're in France. <laughs> there you go, bloody backpacking with dogs. <laughs> what idiots would take their dogs backpacking? <laughs> well, that's why everyone's thinking, aren't they? Look at those two jokers there. Going on trains with the little pup.
just followed this lady with a They're like, like Mummy and Daddy have lost Dizzy it. Dizzy tried to get on the other end of the train. <laughs> <laughs> Carl Blunt tried to go the other door. Liked it so much, he's wanting to get back on. He got the tickets again, darling. Tourist train rider. <laughs> Shit. Right now we have to find um, first class actually, first class train we get into Bordeaux. So that'll be fun. Wined and dined. I thought you said you're alright without a coffee. You just said, oh we're doing alright, we don't need a coffee in the morning now, do we? And then I get two each. <laughs> actually it's, it's just from a little machine from this lady behind, but it's really good coffee, isn't it? Yeah. Don't you think? It's really nice. I feel like I've had decent coffee for ages, for at least 24 hours. <laughs> We've been doing it lightweight, haven't we? Like one coffee in the morning, yeah. maybe one later on if we're lucky. So now we are about to get on the train. That is our train there, it's the Paris train. We're not going to Paris. Um, and we have got first class tickets, as Nick mentioned, so we're gonna go and check Why out. Is the, the reason the behind luxury. that, not just because we're just spoiling ourselves. Yeah, the reason behind that is because it was like h hardly any difference between second class and of course you get like it's the extra space and hopefully the extra space and comfort because we've got the doggies. And you can pre-book your seats mainly. Oh yeah, <laughs> that was the main reason because you can pre-book your seats so you know one of us isn't down the other end of the train and one of us you know with the dogs and stuff we have to be together. Yeah that was the main reason so. <laughs> You're all flustered, aren't you? It was literally about 10 euros more, though, I think, for first class. So you're going to want you. Yeah. Cheers. So you're going to get changed uh, in something a bit smarter. What are you trying to say? Look at me. I feel a little underdressed, really. Right, do we, is there a, like a seat? Uh, there is like a um, cabin. What do you call them? What do you call the little trucks? Oh yeah, uh, yeah. let's have a look. What are they called? Coach 11. Coach, that's it. Coach 11, seat 65. Come on. Coach 11, seat 65. It's exciting, isn't it? Very posh. Come on, boy. That way, yeah. Nice window seats, top deck. Yeah, exciting. We're all on, we're all settled. Just had a bit of a panic attack because we thought we'd lost um, this, which is one of their muzzles. Because you're supposed to have your dogs muzzled on the train, but you know, we didn't. But as long as you've got them with you. We've searched everywhere. I ran back to the main building. Anyway, it's fine. We're settled. We're on the train. The train's just uh, left. The dogs are settled. It's very nice. Very comfortable. It's like, uh, it's like you know, Sarah just said, oh, it feels like we're getting on the plane, on the plane, airplane with the dogs. Nice leg room, so the dogs are just below us. Got a big table here, lots of places to store stuff, be able to get on with some work here. Like four plug sockets. Yeah, it's extremely, extremely good. Getting settled, darling. <laughs> Get ready for some work. Nice, isn't it? Very nice. Are they going to come around with food options? Do we I get think meals? So. Do we yeah. get meals? I don't know if we get them included <laughs> in the ticket price. Um, so, yeah, I mean. What's on the train? Is there like a lounge? There is a bar actually. I don't, so that's probably where they come round rather yeah. than a bar that you go to. Should have researched, should have done the research. Yeah, and it's, it's a bit early for that sort of thing, isn't it, my darling? Dizzy was on the floor, but then he's pestering to come up and look out the window. 
So we let him up and he's just been enjoying the sunshine. How's your first tra train journey going down there? Very nice, very relaxing. I've actually been editing most of the way, mm. haven't I? Getting on with the video. And we've only got about 20 minutes to go. So it's gone really quick. Um, but yeah, it's very comfortable. The dogs are relaxed, uh, which we're very happy with. We were a little bit worried about them being a bit stressed, but they've been perfect. Definitely get used to this. Definitely get used to this. <laughs> Frantic, get off the train. Frantic, get off before we end up in Paris. <laughs> minute walk apparently to get to our accommodation um, yeah that was enjoyable really enjoyable train ride very relaxed and the weather is a little bit better now it's not warm with rain so all good Right, wasn't it the walk from the train yeah, station to here minutes, like 10 minutes maximum? Easy job. Could have copped Easy. out and gone the budget, Ibis budget, which is literally another like 30, 30 meters away. Yeah, but this room looks better for working, for editing, quite a lot of editing to do this afternoon. It's got a nice desk, it's also got a little kitchenette, mm. so we can, uh, yeah, prepare some eat food. off plates. Eat off plates. <laughs> Four. I think the dogs are enjoying this apartment. Sarah's just about to go to the supermarket and get some supplies. Get a few supplies. And Nick's about to get on with the edit. Mummy's got you some chicken. You're gonna have some chicken in a minute. Right, first thing you've got to eat in France has to be the pano chocolat. The pano chocolat. Oh, look at that with blueberries. Yeah, blueberries as well. And coffee, there you go, my love. Oh, look at that. Oh, I'm gonna have a sip of this coffee first. Unlimited coffee. You get the good stuff. Well, it's instant, but it is the good stuff. So. Mmm. It's good as I remember. It's been, it's been a long time actually. Mmm. Since we were last in France, probably. guys we have had so much work and things to catch up on we have been sat there all afternoon We've got an early train to catch tomorrow but it's all good the sun doesn't set till half past nine so we've still got oh this is a run to no, Charlie's leaving the court around you <laughs> so we've still got yeah an hour and a half it's fine we are out we've left the apartment we've left we've left after an all-day session on the laptops. Oh, it's nice out here, isn't it? Fresh air. It's lovely. It's oh, lovely. I was going crazy in the in the apartment. We get here, beautiful train journey, full of beans, the sun was shining, we get off at the into Bordeaux, we're like, oh this looks like a good city. And unfortunately, life of a a YouTuber, we have to go into the apartment and edit for the last four hours. <laughs> what are you going to do? Everyone's got to work, haven't they? What are you going to do? So now we don't really know where we're going. We're just heading in the direction of like the towers, which is this way. And then we'll sort of check our phones on the way. And this isn't going to be a fantastic tour of Bordeaux, but it's hopefully not even be a tour. it's not even going to be a tour. But hopefully we can show you a few things and you'll, you'll see what we see. We have no idea where we're going, have we? Very limited time. It looks like it's already getting dark. And well, this um, is like one of the main streets. It looks like. I don't know. This is like a main area. Cause look at the map there. See. So it's 
it it's a very like straight a road. Restaurant bars. And there's lots of beige buildings on Google Maps either side, which normally <laughs> yeah, means it's, it's a busy area. Yeah. yeah. Normally mean it's worth going to. A famous not, street in We're Bordeaux. not going to any sites, we're not going to any landmarks or anything like that, we're just gonna have a little wander. tower don't know how many cool buildings we're gonna to get to see tonight but this is one of them it's a 15th century gothic style bell tower it's pretty impressive darling yeah some goblins there aren't there goblins see all the little goblins you like goblins don't you taking the mickey aren't you <laughs> and this is one of two cathedrals i'm not sure this is not the main cathedral <laughs> i've done my history on this place it's over to nicholas is that tumblewind? That's tumble. I, I thought I had some tumblewind. <laughs> Sorry, guys. If you want, um, if you want a tour of uh, Bordeaux, you'll have to watch some other videos because we haven't done any research on this place. We no, didn't know we were coming, but we didn't know how long we'd have. So the, this cathedral was built in the 11th century. It's the Saint Andre de Bordeaux. Romanesque. Romanesque. There cathedral. you go. And it's very impressive, isn't it? It is very, I mean, 11th century, that's crazy old. And yeah. That's one of the best things about coming to cities is just to see what us humans have built over the centuries. Centuries and centuries ago. Centuries ago, ago that. So we're just doing the research for the tour, trying to figure out what we can see in the very limited time we're just without doing, stopping walking. We're just doing a kind of just like a bit of a... Not a zigzag, a square. Whirlwind tour. A whirlwind. Going a bit north, then a bit west, then a bit east, then a bit south, then a bit west again, then a bit north, then a bit south, then a bit west, then back at the apartment. That way then, are we going that way? a big one. We found that lovely cathedral, the bell tower. Haven't seen many monuments. Seems quite spread out and um, as is with all cities, big roads, long distance between places and as usual like we said we left it far too late. It'd be handy to have a little tram tram route. If I'd suggest if you come to Bordeaux don't leave it till eight o'clock to come out and get a tram map of the trams so you can use them because it'll be a fun way to travel around the city. Okay, so we believe we found like one of the like mainish areas. That behind me, that big square building is the Grand Theatre. And Nick also recognises this section here from some photos that he looked in at. Our in, in our apartment, I think. <laughs> so this is one of the main areas. that I'm giving you. Loving it. It's just, yeah, you never know what to expect. You know, you don't know if you're going to get lost. So the thrill and the excitement of potentially getting lost in some dodgy neighborhood at night <laughs> with drug pushers on street corners and prostitutes around every corner. Again. That's not going to happen. We've got two really vicious protective creatures with us. We're walking towards the river, I think. I can't believe the tour nearly didn't include this. This is one of the, I reckon this must be one of the top things to see because this is blinking amazing, isn't it? Look at that, like the, it's a waterfall. It's the Monument de Anx. Uh, I'm, I'm going to balls it up, so I'm going to put the name on the screen, but it's a very, very cool water feature, water fountain with the horses coming out of the water. I'm so glad that we came this way and seen this on this 
short tour of Bordeaux. In 1943, it was actually dismantled. And then in 1982, the 34, more or less, different sculptures were brought back and put in this pool to create the monument that's here today. Very How cool, cool is that? So we have about 15 minutes or oh, something like that before sunset. So we are heading back in the general direction of the apartment, um, hopefully along by the river. Yeah, lovely light though, isn't it, this time of day? Light. Charlie's getting a little lift, as you can see. Get a bit tired, bless him. Yeah, we got a big wheel there. It's actually really cool what we've seen, isn't it? Oh, there's the bridge. Oh, sorry. Oh yeah, I think Sarah's done a fantastic job with this little whistle, whistle stop tour. Thank you. We haven't stopped moving. That's what you have to do when you... And we've got to keep going because we've got at least half an hour walk Thank back. Charlie. Sounds like there's some sort of music festival on here though. Yeah. Yeah, go on. So much going on oh, yeah, everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> don't you de definitely need a set of wheels to get around these cities, don't you? Yes, Either that or the tram, but yeah, a little electric scooter or a bike. Has to be done. It's just so much to see. Oh. <laughs> guys the light is fading fast so um, we're gonna end the vlog here for tonight gonna get back to the apartments really quick and um, get an early try and get an early night because yeah so I hope you guys are up bright and early in the morning because we will be and if you want to come with us and get that train you better get up early <laughs> see you in the morning guys Come on, Charlie, that's good. Not that one. I can't do it. Charlie, look at the sunflowers. Sunflowers. Nick's good that we're not sat that side of the train. He likes sunflowers. He likes a lot of flowers, actually. He's sort of like a bit of a flower boy. <laughs> <laughs>